हाय फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू अन्ना ट्यूटोरियल्स मैंने अपने प्रीवियस वीडियो में आपसे लाइजोसोम्स और एंडोसोम्स के बारे में डिस्कस किया था सो so, आज मैं आपको वैक्यूल्स के बारे में डिस्कस करूंगी ये भी एंडोमेम्ब्रेन सिस्टम का ही पार्ट है सो so, एंडोमेम्ब्रेन सिस्टम में जैसे मैंने बताया था एंडोप्लाज्मिक रेटिकुलम गोल्गी कॉम्प्लेक्स लाइजोसोम्स विद एंडोसोम्स एंड वैक्यूल्स आते हैं सो so, आज लास्ट टॉपिक में uh, इस वीडियो में कवर करूंगी एंडोमेम्ब्रेन uh, सिस्टम का जो है वैक्यूल्स सो वॉट आर वैक्यूल्स दे आर बेसिकली मेम्ब्रेन बाउंड सैक लाइक स्ट्रक्चर्स और स्पेसिस Uh, that are found in the cytoplasm. So uh, they are formed by fusion of uh, vacuum vesicles from endoplasmic reticulum and Golgi complex. So जो Golgi complex और endoplasmic reticulum की जो vesicles होती हैं वो जब fuse करती हैं तो उन्हीं से ही ये vacuoles का formation होता है So they are in close association with the endoplasmic reticulum and Golgi complex. So इसी वजह से ये part बनाते हैं endomembrane system का So जैसे आप देख सकते हैं if it is a plant cell here is the nucleus with the nuclear membrane and this is the large central vacuole so this is this part is called this as the vacuole this is a fluid filled sac or a fluid filled space and uh, the membrane which bounds it is called as tonoplast so uh, a mature plant cell typically has one large central vacuole and it occupies it may occupy up to 90% of the total cell volume but in young plant cells mainly uh, smaller vacuoles are present and cytoplasm is more uh, in ratio in comparison to the um size of vacuole a uh, smaller vacuoles may also be present but as the cell increases in size cytoplasm does not uh, grow in the same ratio this is the main reason why um the this formation of uh, larger vacuoles because uh, first in uh, young plant cells there are many uh, smaller vacuoles but as the cell grows the cytoplasm does not grow in the same ratio with the growth of the cell so this is space uh, which uh, is filled by the vacuoles so this helps in the formation of vacuoles with growth of cell a uh, fusion of smaller vacuoles occurs occurs resulting in formation of large central vacuole due to this cytoplasm is pressed to the wall uh, in a thin layer called primordial utricle when the cell increases in size uh, the vacuole occupies most of the space of the cell and the cytoplasm is pressed to a thin space uh, um, around the uh, wall and uh, the space in which uh, which consists of the nucleus the cytoplasm and other organelles uh, the space is called as the primordial utricle now vacuoles are filled with cell sac excretory products and other materials uh, that is the waste products which are not useful for the cell vacuole is bound by a single membrane which is called as the tonoplast as i have explained you earlier now here you can see in this diagram this is the young uh, plant cell in the young plant cell you can see um there are, you know, most of the space is occupied by the cytoplasm this is the nucleus and there are many smaller vacuoles which are present but as the cell grows this is the developing stage so here you can see uh the cytoplasm has decreased in size and the vacuoles have uh, the size of the vacuoles have increased and here this is the fully developed plant cell so in the fully developed plant cell you can see how many how much space is occupied by the vacuole and the cytoplasm and nucleus is uh, only constricted to this region with this region is called as the primordial utricle in which the uh, which consists of mainly cytoplasm uh, nucleus and other cell organelles so uh, this is the primordial this region is the primordial utricle which consists of cytoplasm plus nucleus plus this entire region plus uh, the um, 
organelles. This is the primordial utricle. This region is the primordial utricle. So in the uh, mature plant cell, most of the uh, space of the cell is occupied by the vacuole and only this uh, very less of the cytoplasm present. Now what is cell sap? So uh, the main chemical composition of the cell sap includes the mineral salts, the carbohydrates, the amino acids, the carbonic acids and waste products such as tannins, alkaloids and glycosidases dissolved in water and some pigments like anthocyanin may also be present. Anthocyanin gives a purple and a purple color to the leaves of some uh, uh, flowers and it is also um, responsible for red or blue color. It gives purple or red or blue color to the leaves of the flowers. Red, blue color. So this pigment may also be present in some plants uh, which is dissolved in cell sap only. Now cell sap is, uh, can be either neutral or it can be slightly acidic. Uh, it maintains the turgidity of the cell that is it maintains the structural integrity or, and turgidity of the cell and it serves as storehouse uh, for water and some metabolites also. Some metabolites and water may also be stored in the cell sap. And some waste products may also be there. Now we coming to the tonoplast. As I have explained to you earlier that tonoplast is the membrane uh, which bounds the vacuole. So it is the selectively permeable membrane just like the plasma membrane. That is it allows a few ions and molecules to pass through it but uh, restricts the other molecules and ions um, pres uh, passing through it. Only uh, permits. few ions and molecules with the help of uh, certain proteins like channel proteins, carrier proteins. So uh, with the help of these proteins it helps in transport of materials uh, that is ions and molecules inside and outside the cell. Uh, now um, uh, there may be passive transport or there may be active transport uh, that I have explained you in my uh, previous video in which I have taught the cell membrane. So you can go through that video to uh, get the details of how the transport across the cell membrane occurs. So transport is how it happens, I have studied the cell membrane in the cell membrane, so I have discussed passive and active transport. So what happens in this, basically the tonoplast is the against the concentration gradient yani ki active transport bhi uh, isme hota hai aur active transport bhi ye facilitate karta hai and it uh, um, allows the transport of a number of ions and other materials against the concentration gradient agar against the concentration gradient hai yani ki jo materials uh, bahar uh, lower ratio mein present hai aur cell ke andar already high concentration mein present hai so wo ions or molecules bhi isme uh, cell ke andar aa jate hai with the help of active uh, transport aur jo ki hota hai kuch proteins ki help se carrier proteins ki help se uh, ya channel proteins ki help se so uh, ab uh, jab uh, against the concentration gradient uh, molecules or ions ka transport hoga to cell ke andar ye obviously baat hai ki cell ke andar un, unka jo uh, ratio hai wo badh jayega aur cell ke bahar jo ratio hai wo kam ho jayega so due to this the concentration of ions and other materials is higher in the vacuole than in the cytoplasm so cytoplasm mein uh, se transport hokar vacuoles mein molecules aur ions aa rahe hain to vacuoles ke andar inka concentration badh jata hai aur cytoplasm mein kam hota jata hai क्योंकि ये एक्टिव ट्रांसपोर्ट को फैसिलिटेट करता है Now in animal cells maybe vacuoles present ho sakte hain 
लाइक लोअर एनिमल्स में भी प्रेजेंट हो सकते हैं फॉर टेम्प्रेरी स्टोरेज एंड ट्रांसपोर्ट ऑफ मटीरियल्स के लिए जैसे कि फूड वैक्यूल्स जो कि कई सारे प्रोटोजोन्स में प्रेजेंट होते हैं और न्यूट्रेटिव सेल्स जो कि लोअर एनिमल्स की न्यूट्रेटिव सेल्स होती हैं उसमें प्रेजेंट होते हैं वो एनगल्व कर लेते हैं फूड पार्टिकल्स को सो ये फूड वैक्यूल्स फॉर्म करते हैं लोअर एनिमल्स में और जो अमीबा में है वो कॉन्ट्रेक्टाइल वैक्यूल्स होते हैं ये ऑस्मो रेगुलेशन में हेल्प करते हैं सो सच ए वैक्यूल जो कि एनिमल सेल में प्रेजेंट होता है वो टोनो वो उसकी जो मेम्ब्रेन होती है वो टोनो से स्लाइटली डिफरेंट होती है क्योंकि ये सिंपल और डेलीकेट मेम्ब्रेन होती है जिसे हम कंडेंसेशन मेम्ब्रेन कहते हैं वो ट्रायल माइनर यूनिट मेम्ब्रेन नहीं होती है ये सिंपल डेलीकेट मेम्ब्रेन होती है और उससे जो टोनो की जो कॉम्पोजिशन है उससे डिफरेंट होता है इसको हम कंडेंसेशन मेम्ब्रेन बोलते हैं सो थैंक यू फ्रेंड्स फॉर वॉचिंग द वीडियो अगर आपको वीडियो अच्छा लगा हो तो प्लीज़ लाइक करिए और हमारे चैनल को सब्सक्राइब करिए